guys. So this week we are doing album reviews. Basically the goal is to pick a CD that you've never listened to before by an artist that you've maybe shown some interest in or been recommended to listen to or whatever the situation may be. Then review that CD. Originally I was going to go with Mute Math's latest album but it sucked so bad that I couldn't get past most of the song. Which is why I had John pick a CD for me instead and he picked High Violet which is by The Nationalist. Going into this, I assumed that I knew zero songs by this artist, but as it turns out, I know three out of the eleven tracks on the album. Which brings me into mentioning the first thing that I realized about this band, which is that they are very forgettable. I mean, I've heard three songs by this artist, and while I will remember that I've heard the songs, I don't remember words very well, and I don't remember the artist's name. And that's a big deal. Like, if you've listened to three tracks off of an artist's CD, you should probably remember who they are. I would, I think, I think that if an artist is truly good enough for you to want to download their music, they should be able to grab your attention with three tracks. High Violet is the kind of CD that I let play quietly in the background while I do homework or read or write or something along those lines. It's not something that I really want to get lost in the music so much because it doesn't really capture me that way. It doesn't grab you and pull you into it the way that I like my music too. But in the same breath, the singer has a really deep voice and I kind of freaking love it. Now, if he could just put a little bit of emotion behind that voice and into the lyrics of the song, I would maybe like it a little bit more. But as it turns out, pretty much every track on the album sounds exactly the same in the sense that he kind of maintains the same monotone throughout the entire album. There is very little variation in the pacing of the songs and the beat, like everything kind of stays the same for the most part. They're all slow, they're all kind of sad, and his voice is always deep. I wouldn't necessarily say that the album sucks because it's not a bad CD. I don't want to turn it off, but it's not necessarily on a downloadable level. It's not something that I need to have on my iPod, but if they come on the radio or something like that, I'd be more than happy to just kind of sit and listen to it. The only track that really caught my attention was Lemon World, and that was mostly because of the title. I spent six tracks wanting to listen to track seven just because it was called Lemon World, and it interested me. But the track wasn't as exciting as the title. It was still probably my favorite song out of all of the ones that I didn't already know, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it was all that great. Other than that, my favorite track was Anyone's Ghost, which is the shortest track on the album. I think it's about two minutes, and most of the tracks are around four or up, which is pretty standard in my opinion. Three, four, that's about standard song length. One track that I really did not enjoy at all was track eight, Runaway. Um, it's really sad, like probably sadder than the other songs, and none of them have a particularly happy feel to them. And that's probably where my biggest problem falls in with this album, is the fact that you can tell that it's kind of got a melancholy feel to it. It's supposed to kind of make you sad in a way. It's one of those really emotional albums, or emotional albums, because it didn't make me feel emotional at all. I understood that it was sad and slow, but nothing really made me sad about it. Like, it didn't have any lyrics that really grabbed me, and the singer really never seemed engaged in what he was singing about. So it made it very hard for me to connect, and that kind of left me more just listening than actually, you know, hearing, and getting that emotional pull the way that I like to when I listen to sad albums. If a sad song doesn't make me choke up when I'm singing the lyrics, I don't think that it was done well enough. Or at least it doesn't really relate to me well enough. This could have pretty strong emotional pull for other people, but not for me. Anyways, that was my review of High Violet by The Nationalist. It probably wasn't very good. I hope that the reviews following this one will be better, and they probably will, because I bet you guys are a lot more skilled at music review than I am. Today is mine and John's six months anniversary, and I know that I talk about us a lot in videos, and it probably makes you guys want to throw up, but I just wanted to put onto film how much I love my boyfriend and how excited I am to see him in a month and how happy he makes me and stuff. So, And before I turn into a giant pile of goo from all this mushiness, I will go. So, hasta la pasta. Ariana, I will see you tomorrow. And that is the first time I've said your name wrong in like three weeks. I'm very disappointed in myself. Grr.